Okay, so I've let it sit for around 15 hours. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a damp um, cloth. And first thing I'm going to do is wipe the glass. Um, so the point of it is to remove all of the baking soda paste. And um, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to wipe this down. You're obviously going to have to work it quite hard because it is turned into... A rather hard pace I might have to change my I'm gonna have to get a dish towel to use instead So once the <clears throat> baking soda has been removed, the next step is to spritz on some white vinegar. So I'm going to spritz this on and then leave it for around 5 minutes to just let it work and steep into the remaining grease that is there. Okay, so it has been probably like closer to 10 minutes that the vinegar has been sitting there. So we're just going to give it a wipe and see what happens. Um, it looks like the screen, the glass in the screen didn't get as good as a treatment as the inside of the oven. But we will see what happens. I think for the glass I'm going to have to use something to scrape off the grease. Um, it, as I said, it doesn't seem to be removing as good as the inside did, but I'm just going to give it... I'm just going to leave that and just work on the inside. So after following the steps, like the post on Pinterest says, this is my end result. Now bear in mind that my cooker was extremely dirty um, before I started. So it's hard to see, but I'll put up pictures of what it looks like. I'll insert pictures of what it looks like. So yeah, I'm sure if I do another clean... it will um, come out better but as I said I have I had an extremely dirty oven so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you, if you like it and um, don't forget to check out my blog um, tidythingsireland.blogger.com um, I'll leave all of those links in the description below and I'll talk to you guys very very soon bye